Well, hello everyone. I hope you're doing well and I hope you've had a good week and the rest of your day goes awesome um, and that you enjoy the long weekend. I know I'm sure gonna try, go out and enjoy the sun and all of that goodness that I can soak in over the long weekend. I also want to welcome you to Feature Friday. It is the third episode, I believe. And today we're going to talk about setting your quilt area, or as some people call it, setting the safe area. And then we're gonna talk about the patterns and how you can filter patterns, how you can adjust the tags on them, create your own tags, and all of that wonderful stuff. So I'm gonna flip you around so you can see the machine and the screen better that's behind me, and we will get started. Okay, right, so here's the machine. Um, just so it is noted here that I am actually using a Ruby robot. So it does have the 603 patterns on it, um, which is more than some of the others. So if you do see patterns that you don't have, that could be why. So after that little side note, let's get started. We're going to set the quilt area. And we're just gonna follow what the machine says, the, the screen says. So we're gonna set, go to the back left. And I'm just gonna pick where I want it to be. This would all depend kind of on your quilt as well. Um, and as you can see, the X and Y moved, the coordinates moved. I'm gonna go ahead and hit plus. And when I do that, they go to zero, zero, which is what we want. So now, like the machine, the display says, I'm gonna move to the front right. And you can do the whole frame. If you want, you can only do certain parts. I'm only gonna probably go right into here because as you can see, I have another frame right here that makes going all the way over more difficult. So I'm just gonna move it and pick my spot. And once I have my spot picked, again, you'll notice that these have moved. I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus. So this is going to come up with the dimensions of your quilt area that you just set. Um, and like I said, this can be pretty much any size you make it. So once that is what you want you can hit the green check mark and then what your screen will come up with this orangish colored line so that is the quilt area or the safe area that you just set once you do that you can do things like put in panographs put in different um, blocks, if you have blocks on your quilt. Aubrey's actually going to talk about that a little bit more in depth next week for you. So hint, hint, if you want to watch that one. And then, um, yeah, so there's lots of things you can do, but I am going to talk about the patterns. So you do have to have a quilt area set in order to go into the patterns. When you go into the patterns, it's going to come up with a screen that looks like this and has a whole bunch of different patterns on it. And you can scroll through them whoops, to see what you have. And like I said, I have, am using the Ruby, so there's a lot of patterns on it. But, so, uh oh, like I said, lots of patterns. So within this screen, there's some fun things you can do. These names over here are what we call tags. So it's almost like creating a folder on your computer. Um, it helps you organize things. So if I wanted to look at my patterns and say, well, I want to know all the ones that are animals. I'm just going to go ahead and find the animal tag and click on it. And here are all the ones that are animals. And then if you look at the side, I can um, filter it further if I wanted to and say, okay, well, what about ones that are animals and blocks? 
Okay, here we are. These are the ones that fit those um, categories. So once you've found what you want, or you're not seeing what you want and you want to go back to the whole list, we're going to um, you're going to see a white box here and then the filter. If you just hit filter, it'll take away all your filters and you're back to the beginning of the patterns where you can see all of them. Now, if you wanted to filter through them and say, you know, you have a pattern that start that has a leaf in it somewhere, but you can't remember the rest of the name. You can go ahead and hit that white box like I did and a keyboard will come up and then you can go ahead and search. So I'm just going to type in leaf. And as you can see, it showed up there and then I'm just going to hit this uh, check mark. And when I do that, all the patterns that have leaf somewhere in their name pop up. So that is um, fun, a fun feature as well that you can search what you're looking for if you only know part of the name. And then again, if I want to go back to all the patterns, I just leave the white box blank and hit filter. And here they are. Another On the next tab, it says recent. So if you click that, here are the recent patterns we have used on this particular machine. And so it will fill up with patterns and then once it gets full, it will just start replacing patterns. So that's also a handy tool if there's one that say like in this scenario the six pointed loops say you use that one all the time it can just it just is in your recents and you can go find it that way the next tab is the import export it's going to look like this um, so this screen is where you import your f patterns you can either do it individually or by folders import them into a specific tag all that good stuff we are actually going to do a Feature Friday um, down the road just about this screen and importing patterns. So I am going to just kind of skip over it today and just give you a brief overview because we'll do a more in-depth one later. And then I'm going to go down to this tag. Whoops, tag right here. So it comes up with all of your patterns. And then on this side, you can assign it tags, or like I said, they're kind of like a folder you make on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to select this pattern right here. Well, when I do that on the assigned tag side, it shows me which tag it is assigned to. So currently it's assigned to Stitch Happy. Um, and let's just say I didn't want it in Stitch Happy anymore. So I'm going to unhighlight it. So now there's nothing highlighted. And I want to put it into um, triangles. Let's go with triangles. I'm going to highlight triangles. And now if you go into patterns and you scroll there we go, it wasn't liking me earlier. If you just scroll down, oops, and as you can see, I just selected a whole bunch of them. So let's try again. There we go. If you scroll down to triangles, there's my, my um, one I added. So that's also nice. So let's go back to tags. Um, I'm just going to reset this one real quick. So I would unhighlight it and highlight the next one. The other thing you can do is you can edit tags. So there's this tiny little checkbox. Ooh, there we go. Next to edit tags that you got to click on. Once it does, that screen kind of goes gray. And you could select a tag, say you don't want saved anymore. And you could 
delete it and say, do you want to delete? It can't be undone. And then you would say, okay, yes, I don't want that anymore. I am not going to do that, however, because I still do want it. So I'll hit it cancel. The other thing you can do is you can click on this white box and you could add your own. So maybe you want it to be favorites. So you just type in favorites. And as you can see over here, it's starting to show up. So I'm gonna hit favorite. And then I'm gonna hit the check mark. And then when I go up, Oh man, sorry, I'm highlighting like everything. Um, so anyway, when you hit add, let's see if it'll, there is favorites right there. So just type it in, type, you know, click on the box, type in whatever you want it to be, and then hit the, the plus for adding. And then from there you can, again, highlight or unhighlight things that you want different tags to. So that's pretty cool too, that you can organize your um, patterns the way you want. So I am also gonna uncheck this. Then you can also multi-select. So again, there's a little checkbox up here. You can select it and then this way, I could select multiple ones to go over here and say, these are my favorite. You can also do a select all, or if you wanted to look through a certain tag, I'll show you that again. There's that select tag up here. You can just go ahead and click on it and select which tag you want to use, and then go ahead and hit this green check mark. So, that is, I'm just going to unselect that. And so then you would go back in your patterns and once you have finished sorting them all the way you want to, then you can just click on the tags and you will see what you have organized. So going to flip you back over again. Um, so anyway, I hope that this has been helpful for you. Um, like I said, we'll go in depth on importing patterns and all of that. And we've got some good stuff coming up for you. So we're excited about that. And also again, have a good weekend. We also wouldn't mind suggestions if you have any on what you would like to see. Um, if you have any specific features you want to see more about, um, you can comment as well. And we just want to you to have a wonderful weekend. See ya.